Hi, welcome to my channel, Audit Skills. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can find the mismatch characters in between two strings. So when I say mismatch characters means most uncommon characters between two strings. So we will see a simple Java program to find out how we can achieve the same. Now get it back to Eclipse editor. creating new Java class. So it's going to choosing public static void main method. I put it scanner. Create instance and mapping it to input stream. Need a message on the console request in user to enter string one. So next line is another to read the string value from the keyboard. Again, to read the next okay. Now we have both the input values ready in the variables S1 and S2. Let's create a public static method which is a void public characters input for this methods are string values what are generated from the keyboard string as well In this particular method within the main method by passing both the values. Now let's implement the logic inside and creating two string buffer values variables. Now we are going to process means read each character from the respective string object and we are going to compare with the other string object. So we are processing first for all the characters within a string only. That is equal to character i. This method is going to get each character from the string based by using an index value. If the character is zero. So basically index of method is to search for a given character within a string. So it is going to search the character which is pulled from the string one into a string S2. So if this occurrence is available, this is going to give us a valid value of the valid index. If it does not exist, then it is going to give you the value less than zero. Suppose if that is this condition is satisfied, and we are going to store the value in a string buffer. So same process we will repeat for string two. For zero. S2 dot this time we are going to process for S1. I 
Character file S one dot index of system we are going to store in as B two. The list we are processing on S two or two object and we are comparing it with the S one object. Now both the loops processed on the respective string object. Now we have both the values ready in both SB1 and SB2 objects. If there are no uncommon characters exist, that means the both the values from the SB1 and SB2. Are zero, then we can classify it as a. There are no uncommon characters. Let's print a valid information as this. There are no match. The same in the water field. We are going to print this paper. Another message is finally. That's all. So we are printing the respective values. Just in this case for the better readability. We are almost done with the program. So this is the actual processing method, and we are calling this method inside it. Main method. So let's run this program. So first thing I'm entering as a Java and second thing is also Java. What does this mean? So both the string values are separate. So we should see that there are no mismatch characters. So there are no mismatch characters in both the strings because both the values are same. Let's run it again. So I have entered both education and authorized. You can see that unique characters on the string one are DCN. So DCN and the unique characters on the string two are HRZ. HRZ. And mismatch are uncommon characters in, in between both the strings are combination of both these two values, which is the DCN. It's a let's try it again. So there are no common characters, all are this much characters, and we can see that all together complete words. Let's continue. It is the unique characters on the string one is only J and unique characters on shift is only K. So these are the two mismatch characters. So please like the video and share it with your friends. In case if you are having any questions, please do reach out to me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.
see you in the next video